Hello and welcome to the manufacturing plant of uh, Wurtz Wohnmobil. This is located approximately 40, 50 kilometers or so to the south of Stuttgart. This is the Swabian Jura, or as it's called in German, Schwäbische Alp. And it's a lovely clear day. Sun's out. Sun's out in winter. What does that mean? It means it's really cold. And as you can see, the snow and a bit of ice here. And the barn got a bit dirty from uh, coming back from Stuttgart. Anyway, uh, let's have a look inside. This is a camper van on the VW Bully T6. It's called the Piccolo. Comes in 4x4 and a normal uh, drive. This is what it looks like inside. It looks a bit like a lounge. A lounge in a vehicle under five meters. Now, if we look up there, we'll see something which is a little unusual in vans like this. What people tend to do is to put the bed up here and think they're gonna sleep four people in slides. But how about using it for just two and having all this storage instead. And this indeed was my idea when I bought a high roof vehicle. What I wanted was a vehicle I could stand up in. And uh, so I could stand here, do my cooking, I could get dressed. And that for me was an important uh, feature. I didn't want to have to uh, put the roof up every time. Of course, if you're looking for a bit of stealth or you might have a low garage, or something like that. Well, I do understand the reasons for buying a low roofed vehicle. Now, uh, I'll show you the storage. Storage up the front. In there. Storage in the back here. And now that's pretty deep, really, for, you know, for a van of this type. Now, when I was living in, in the VW, I bought it nine years ago this month. So I've been in van life, living in the van now for nine years. And uh, I would have really liked to have this type of storage. I didn't really have a lot of storage. Although my vehicle was roughly the same size as this one. Anyway, you can see a video with, uh, I filmed in Hungary with, my, um, with me in the van. Right, let's have a look at some of the features here. So, uh, okay, we'll come off up to the front here. So this is our uh, habitation unit, I want to call this. Uh, behind here, we have got the, uh, the gas burner. That comes out like that. And uh, now, according to German regulations, you need, it needs to be screwed down um, because of the uh, gas. But if you want to take it out, you can unscrew it and you can take it out of the van. And there's the cartridge that goes in there. All right, here's the sink, Dometic sink. Uh, there you've got your, your you can check on your electrics, so you can see what uh, how much uh, power you've got in your battery, and you can uh, here's your water pump, ventilation, and uh, heater. Here we've got something which is. Quite exciting. I thought, well, I don't say it's a word, but uh, it's a fridge, right? So that's, you, you've got a fridge you just put in, blow it up the top, and run a bit of slope. It doesn't sort of normally go back that quickly if it's on the flat, and place your cupboard. Toilet would go, or at least I would keep it down there. I mean, a lot of people sort of want to have a uh, uh, some a box on the floor. In fact, I think the box on the is probably more popular, but I think that's a good place any for a porter potty. Now, if you're sitting in here, you'll want a table probably. There's a place for the stalk, one stalk, and there's a place for a second stalk. And uh, how does this work? Well, normally. Uh, when I'm at a trade fair or something like that, I can't show you because I need one hand on the ca on the camera. But today, 
I have my assistant who shall show us how to put the table in both positions. out and goes in. Alright, so there's the bed and I've got the same problem once more. I need one hand on the camera. What we're going to do, get my assistant back in to show us how that works. There's only one bed in here, which is this one as I said earlier, uh, which I think is a great idea. As I also said earlier, under this you got a bit of storage, and you can also see through to where the water is as well. Now the water uh, normally be looking around 20 litres holding, but you can actually increase that so that's a... Uh, um, it's not like in a motorhome where you, you, you can't because it's a different, different system so it... Uh, Certainly can be increased. This one's got a bike rack on the back and it's got the same colour as mine was. Yeah, I'll show you this one here as well whilst I'm here. This thing here is particularly nice. You see, 4x4. Four four. So it's, uh, its wheels are much higher. It's about 20 centimeters in fact uh, higher than the uh, the the other one takes it lifts it up I might have exaggerated a bit there I think I'm like, but... <laughs> <laughs> underneath here you've got I'll try and show you this difficult angle you've got metal plates protecting the underside of the vehicle so if you're obviously four by fouring uh, you, you want to make sure that the thing's lifted up, it doesn't, anything hits. And you've got your snorkel up there, which will take you 80 centimetres, roughly, to the top of the bumper. You can actually drive through water. This thing here looks, obviously, a lot different. Roof comes up, comes with an awning. Well, that's, you know, these things are largely built to water, so you get what you order, you mightn't want an awning. Your bed is up in the roof, so that you've got a tent up there. But this, so we'll see that in it, how that works in a different film. And this type of layout with the furniture. Anyway, I'll do this one in more detail later. Also, a piccolo.
So we have two piccolos. Now for me, certainly I'd want the high roof one. Price, well, it depends what you're getting really, because I mean, it's very difficult to actually say, but uh, to take the most expensive one on the left, by the time it's got uh, everything this one's got on it, you know, looking up, up to even 95,000 euros, depends, depends on the equipment. So it's, it's, it's very hard to say. I know everybody always asks me what, uh, how much does it cost? What's, that's the commonest question. Right, so, well, I uh, hope you found that of interest. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more vehicles here whilst I'm here. And uh, as I've just come from the trade fair at Stuttgart, as you can see, this vehicle, still uh, it's still dirty from the journey. And uh, there's lots of uh, videos I did there uh, showing uh, not only the 2020 range of many major manufacturers, but also smaller manufacturers like uh, this one. And as I'm here, I shall try and put up as much as I can, not only from these camper vans, but also from this rather attractive looking area. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. And if you get any benefit, from what I do, you might want to consider giving me support on Patreon. Thank you.